I, I was trying, it took me a second too. I was just like the mob. Where's this movie going? Welcome back, super friends and super family. I'm Nick, and today I'm reacting to The Parent Trap. I've been continuing some classic 90s, early 2000 comedies here on the channel. Now with The Parent Trap, know basically nothing about this movie at all. The poster, I think, is two twin girls, and I'm pretty sure the actress is a very young Lindsay Lohan, which that's cool. That's going to be exciting to see her as a child actress. I'm sure she was very talented, even at a young age. I mean, she's she's so iconic in Mean Girls. I'm trying to think. I know she's been in a lot of stuff. I can't think of anything else that I've seen her in. I'm pretty sure this is like her breakout role as a child star, although I could be wrong. And I could be wrong. Maybe it's not Lindsay Lohan. Maybe I'm totally off. But just excited to check this movie out, expecting something cute, fun, funny, silly. I don't think it's going to go full Matilda with just the over-the-top craziness and supernatural powers. But maybe. I honestly don't know what I'm in store for for this movie. As always, you want to watch the full unedited reaction that is up on my patreon thank you so much to everyone who supports there for now let's get into today's reaction the parent trap the old school disney opening man was it the best one maybe is for the old Dennis Quaid is in this okay What's oh, a Nancy Myers film? Okay, she's done a bunch of rom-coms, right? What's that movie with Jack Nicholson that's absolutely hilarious, as good as it gets? Well, it looks like a very, very beautiful romantic wedding for the opening here. Okay, it is. It's introducing. Dang, this is cool. Her first movie role. I'm sure that is a very expensive bottle of wine. What is the most money anyone has spent on a bottle of wine? If anyone has like a wine connoisseur and has dropped like a 500 or 200 or anything more than like, I don't know, what's the average bottle of wine? Like $20? I feel like the most I've spent is maybe 40. <laughs> Clearly not a wine person. Although I think wine does taste good. Tell me Wednesday shows up in this camp. Tell me, tell me. My phone just does not work on oh my God, how we ever gonna live? How can you live if you don't have a phone working? I mean, what is there in life besides that? <laughs> Dang, that's a lot of stuff for that little kid, man. I thought this was a boys camp. <laughs> that was a mix up. <laughs> She's a little baby. <laughs> Yo, tie-dye girl! Hmm? Do you give me a hand with my duffel? Could she just call her tie-dye girl? <laughs> I like her. You're from California? Do you like live- Me too. Do you like live next door to a movie store? No, it's not like that. Me and my dad, we own a vineyard. Oh, uh, okay, so they probably didn't have to pay anything for that bottle of wine. They owned it. Who is in there? I honestly have no idea what direction this movie is going <laughs> so far, man. What is this? Here we are. Oh, okay, hold on, hold on. We're gonna have a swap. Check for vegetables. Go on. I like it. Photograph of your mother, grandfather, and of course your trusty butler, me. He's a great butler. I like his vibe already, man. It's like Alfred for a little girl. Find somebody on this continent who can whip your tush at poke. Well, I doubt it, but thanks. Your lookalike might beat you. <laughs> hey, he cares so much, you can tell. See you in eight weeks. Missing you already. Okay, he's my favorite in the movie so far. Oh, look at this. This is an epic handshake. I've never had one that advanced. I'm envious. Toodaloo. Toodaloo. Imagine if the wealthy people in succession acted like this. It'd be a very different show. Excuse me, girls. I've just got... Come on, turn. Meet each other. I'm, I'm allergic. A strawberry. I can't. I'm, I'm allergic. You're both allergic. How did you get over there? Oh, <laughs> She teleported. This is gonna turn into the prestige, watch. At least I'm not putting salt in the sugar in the salt shit. Oh, poor lady, no one's, no one's listening. <laughs> We've all been there. All right, excellent kids. Is that Janice? Still undefeated champ from Napa, California. That's Janice, right? Oh, come on, yes. Oh, this made the movie worth it just for this. Tell me she has a big role. When you're fighting against yourself, this is like Doctor Strange with no magic. Thanks. They're really building up the moment when they see each other, right? <laughs> Dang, okay. Catch it. Go full Princess Bride. Nice. Dang. Let me help you. No, let me help you. <laughs> 
was quite a show. It was. It was quite a show. Shake hands. Come on, girls. <laughs> It would be so strange, right? Turn sideways. Now the other way. <laughs> I love how she's not convinced yet. Your teeth are a little crooked. Nose. Well, don't worry, dear. Those things can be fixed. <laughs> dang, dang. Does the count as roasting yourself? It kind of does, right? The real difference between us. I know how to fence and you don't. Ooh, good comeback. I have class and you don't. <laughs> Take your pick. Why I oughta... I feel like the English accent just gives you an edge because everything that sounds so elegant and sophisticated. Hey, okay, so they're not going to be best buddies, at least not yet. Two pair. Read them and do. <laughs> I'll take a whack at it. Ooh. <laughs> Holy, what's her poker uniform? This is amazing. Take a seat. <laughs> Better than Casino Royale Showdown. Start unzipping, Parker. Who's got the royal flush? Not good enough. In your honor, a royal... <laughs> I mean, that's just so lucky. They both were so lucky that game, man. I mean, she took her punishment like a champ. That was good. This sucks, though. <laughs> What's she gonna do now? Fine. Then let the games begin. Oh, here we go. Dang, I love how they're feuding so much. It's like the opposite of the beginning of RRR, right? I'm sure many people compare these two movies. RRR and The Parent Trap. Very similar. That does not seem like a possibility. <laughs> how did you pull that off? No way. That's impressive. <laughs> With the flag. Oh, that's the perfect sassy touch, too. Take that, America. What's the basketball for? Honestly, you could probably do this to me. I'm such a deep sleeper. Don't move. Oh, dang, everyone got affected. Oh, dang, they declared war on the whole cabin. I thought it was just her. <laughs> this is an amazing Home Alone setup. Didn't get me. Hmm. Spoke too soon. Oh, it's like Carrie, except, you know, not evil and horrible and humiliating, just fun. The lowest, most awful creature that ever walked the planet. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> With an Elvis voice, too? That's great. Both of them are amazing. They have such a good sense of humor. One of the girls got sick last night, and it is a big, big mess. That's not going to work. I must go in. Move aside, please. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. No, no, no. Stand aside, Harry. <laughs> Okay, this is actually the carry moment. Oh, Janice, why'd you do that? <laughs> okay, I thought the kids were good, but this is way better. <laughs> no! What is that? <laughs> it's snowing, okay? Everyone can enjoy a little snow. She did it! Pack your bags! <laughs> I love this movie. I This is a great movie. I can already tell. Like, come on, this would be so cool to do at camp, man. Pulling pranks and having a war with your identical twin. Isolation cabin. <laughs> what is that, Janice? <laughs> I mean, anyone who's had a brother or sister has done this exact same thing at nighttime. And just like that, they're gonna be friends, right? Any of your pictures ruined? Only the beautiful Leo DiCaprio. <laughs> Who? You've never heard of Leonardo? How do you not know? How do you not know? What year did this come out? That's my dad. He's kind of like my best friend. We do everything together. That's really cool. Maybe her parents aren't as close. <clears throat> what one? Oh, sure, I love Oreos. A great peace offering, too. I eat them with peanut butter. So do I. You're kidding. I have had, I've had that exact Skippy peanut butter. It's really good. But Oreos and Skippy, does that go well? Never had it. <laughs> now I want to try it. I don't have a father, but my parents divorced years ago. Well, dang, that's so sad. It's scary the way nobody stays together anymore. True. <laughs> Your birthday's on October 11th? Where does it... They have to be related, no? How could they not be? I'm really thirsty. Will you stop thinking about your stomach at a time? <laughs> Don't you realize what's happening? You have the same parents, yes. Thank 
think about it. Hey, your parents divorced? Come on, okay. I should have put it together even sooner. At least yours is probably a whole picture. Mine's a pathetic little thing all crinkled and ripped right. <laughs> I like that she described that. Pathetic little thing. It's a picture of my mom, and it's ripped to right down the middle. So are they going to try to get their parents back together? Is that going to be the plot of this movie? The parent trap, right? Of course. It's my dad. That's so sad, too, because the opening, you know, seemed so romantic and happy, right? At their marriage. You and I are like sisters. We're like twins. Yeah. That's cool, though. That's got to be such a meaningful moment for them. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I wonder, how did the parents come to this arrangement? They're both just like, well, they look the same, so one go here, never see the other parent, one go there. You know, like, what an odd arrangement for your kids. He always says I'm the only girl in his life. Mom's never come close either. I wonder if they remember then, if they fought, why they divorced. I'll teach you to be me, and you teach me to be you. It's doable. I have class, and you don't. <laughs> the <truth. laughs> to meet again after all these years and then end up back together this is a pretty amazing plan this is martin he's our butler we have a butler <laughs> i would be so hyped too man <laughs> she's so nervous <laughs> My, my actual face before I cut my hair. You sounded just like me. Well, I'm supposed to, aren't I? Go on, just do it. Get it over with. Don't panic. You look great. I mean, if she messes it up, she just has to mess up her own hair, too. <laughs> okay, good. No disasters. I have pierced ears. No, no, and no. Not happening. <laughs> No way I can go to camp with pierced ears and come home without them. Yeah, you gotta do it. How painful is it to pierce your ears? Especially doing it themselves, right? What you're doing? Relax. I would be nervous about this part. Some random kid doing this to me. Hand me the apple. <laughs> Give her something to bite down, you know? <laughs> like when they have to do a surgery with no painkillers. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> That was like the scene out of Pulp Fiction where they dab Uma Thurman, but kid-friendly version, right? And you're gonna find out why they broke up. I'm curious about the second one. I mean, even if they get busted, at least both of them get kind of vacations. Please like me, please. She will, right? Have your ears pissed. Give me five, girlfriend. Come on, you got it. She practiced well. She did her homework. I feel like that's better than uh, she's the man. <laughs> I guess it's an easier task, but she's younger too. What a house. Dang, that's legit. You get a whole welcome home sign. That's cool. I'll always remember my grandfather. Melt of peppermint and pipe tobacco. <laughs> Annie? Mother. You're back. Dang, a slow-mo hug. This is a feel-good movie, huh? Absolutely love it. Any other surprises? Belly button rings, tattoos. <laughs> a big ta Ben Affleck tattoo on my back. <laughs> I've missed you so much. It seems like it's been forever. Well, I found a stowaway in your suitcase. He belongs to my friend. Shall we dispose of the little creature? No, no, no. Absolutely not. <laughs> I'll take care of it. Thank you. <laughs> Like Martin's face, is he used to getting dismissed like that? <laughs> I like how she can't stop looking at her mom's face, just like soaking in this whole new experience. Good acting, honestly, too. Really beautiful food. You know what? I think that time change has made you a little loopy. <laughs> Is this going to be anything like uh, Daniel day Lewis's job in Phantom Thread? Tell me that's why they broke up, because her husband ate breakfast too loud. <laughs> Sorry, these are such weird references. My mom is too cool. <laughs> or at least make you think about the F word. The F word? My father. <laughs> I, didn't, I was trying, it took me a second too. I was just like, the mom, the F word? Where's this movie going? <laughs> When we met, he was actually entirely lovely. All right? All right. But what happened? What is Dennis Quaid's best movie? I feel like I've only seen a few of his films. Hey, Hal! Welcome home, kiddo! I mean, both the mom and the dad seem like great parents, and they both seem like so happy to see their daughter. Oh, I hope you had a lousy time in that camp because you are not going back. <laughs> I missed you. <laughs> what happened to you, Hal? Something's changed. 
Oh, he noticed right away. Are you getting taller? Oh, maybe not. A lot's been happening around here. A lot's happened to me too, Dad. <laughs> I cut myself shaving. Just seeing you for the first time. Oh, dang. Careful. Lovely girl. Lovely girl. All of a sudden, you're so proper. <laughs> Yeah, careful with the vocabulary. Been biting him since you could chew. But I've decided to stop, Dad. It's a horrid habit. <laughs> Girl, horrid habit. What did I do? Send you to summer camp or finishing school? <laughs> you keep saying Dad at the end of every sentence. I'm sorry. I didn't realize I was doing it, Dad. <laughs> She's being way more obvious than her sister. It's a whole day devoted to celebrating fathers. Just imagine. And even then, who really celebrates Father's Day properly? You miss being able to call me Dad? Yeah. Is he going to figure it out? I feel like he might. All right, look at this home, oh, man. This mansion. <laughs> oh, they've got a dog, too. Oh, my goodness! Oh! Dang, okay, which home would you rather grow up in? I thought the mom's was nice, but this location is unbeatable. This is insane. I'm so happy to be home. I hear something about cornbread and chili. That sounds good, honestly. Something changed about you, Hal. I can't put my finger on it, but something... Yeah, yeah, see, everyone can tell. Well, it's just the same old me. Honest. <laughs> <laughs> it's cute she feels I... bad about lying, so she crosses her fingers, you know? What's wrong with you, you goofball? Oh, I, I probably just smell like camp. And no, dogs can always tell, not just in horror movies. When you're done, come on down. There's someone I want you to meet. Always. Who is that? Oh, dang, is that Dad's new girlfriend? Tell me what? Oh, shoot, it's not gonna be that easy. Get it back together. I'll hang it out in a cereal bowl full of chili. Oh, yeah, zoom in, figure out. You don't think she even really likes it? Got your father eating out of the palm of her hand. Oh, no. Go out to eat dinner every night. Meet her, see for yourself. <laughs> She's got the, uh, the Princess Diaries kickback. For her, it's true love. This is Meredith Blake. <laughs> Hi. I was trying to see if I recognize her. No, I don't. I'll be 12 soon. How old are you? <laughs> 26. Only 15 years older than me. <laughs> are you again, Dad? I'm so interested in math. Look, I'm... <laughs> Who was the one with the poster of Leo DiCaprio again? Meredith Blake. I don't like her. Oh, yes. I am writing it all down. Liar. We're all each other had. And we don't want anyone else. <laughs> oh. Perfect. She gave her the Shamu treatment. Just a little, Hal. There's a story that reminded me of a story that I want to tell, but I'll save it for the end. Someone please remind me, because I always forget. We're all just the strange women riding her. <laughs> Not that you're a stranger in. <laughs> it nullifies number 28. I mean, 29 in a man's life. <laughs> Romantic dinners with his special reserved label wine. Bottle of my special reserve label. <laughs> <laughs> this is good. She's smart, man. Very well educated. Oh! Darling, hi, how are you? <laughs> Hurry, Hal, I've got to talk to you. <laughs> You're going to have to bring Mother out here immediately. How's she going to do that, too? Neck and waiting on her hand and foot. He is. It's, it's a problem. Annie, I can't. I want more time with Mom. Will she find a candy? <laughs> What's going on? Anne, are you still there? I can barely hear you. <laughs> oh, really? Really? <laughs> you Anne? Hello? I had a phone call from a friend at camp. Oh, please. They must think she's talking to a boy, right? Really hungry. A stack of humongous... Oh, my gosh. What a fancy breakfast. So you wanted to wait and call Mildred because of the time difference. You waited until it was three in the morning. <laughs> that makes perfect sense. <laughs> but she was on vacation with her family. Mm -hmm. She gonna buy that for real? Father wants you to meet him at his office as soon as you're done with breakfast. I'm done. <laughs> that sucks. She prepared that whole breakfast. Oh no, did she not know how to open the doors? Forgot. Come on, come on, that's a lot of signs. Because there's something really important I want to talk to you about. Don't tell me he's going to propose to that woman. Really important that I want to talk to you about. Oh, I like the lighting here, that's cool. Well, what about your mother? How long do you expect me to buy that story that the dropped me on your door? <laughs> Dad, I'm almost a teenager. Face it, I need a mother. Yeah, you can't avoid this conversation forever. You're absolutely right. You do need a mother. Not Meredith. Two faced little brat off to boarding school in Timbuktu. Ice woman. <laughs> that was babe. <laughs> Boo, they're evil. All right, this is like top tier father-daughter bonding, man. That's cool. Oh, honey, you excited about our camping trip? What camping trip? Dad, come on. What do you think of Meredith? As what, Dad? 
Big thumbs down. Why do you want my opinion anyway? Uh, Raise your back uh, to the ranch, Dad. Did she cut him off on purpose because she knew where that was going? I'm trying to tell you something. She doesn't want to hear it. She's going like this without literally doing it. Slow down. I think she knows. It's so over my head here. I, I can't handle this. You can do it. You can do it. Come on. You got this. You're a smart kid. Oh, shoot. Do you want to share with the class there, Hal? You gave me a fright. I gave you a fright? Careful. Why Sammy never comes near you anymore? Why your appetites change? This is like Jack Nicholson talking to Leo in The Departed. You know? That scene. That scene. Got a lot over this summer, that's all. Well, if I didn't know any better, I'd say it's almost like you were a different person. Almost as if I were who, Jesse? It's Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Almost as if I were Annie. So she's basically telling her now, right? I know about Annie. I am Annie. Dang, dang, I'm surprised she's doing this. Oh. Is she gonna help you out with this deception? Can I hug her? Dang. I'm gonna make you something special to eat. I'm just gonna whip up everything we've got, okay? <laughs> She's so awesome, and there's so many, like, cool, kind-hearted people in this movie. And then you got Meredith over here. I want to know what you think about making Meredith part of the family. Just scream. Just scream in response. Please. It's an awesome idea. Yeah? Inspired. Really? Brilliant. Why are you saying this? Always wanted a big sister. Oh. Um. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. That was pretty good. You're going to adopt Meredith. <laughs> oh, that is good. That is good. Be my big sister. Ow. Are you speaking French? Oh dang. I learned it at camp. I learned a lot of things at camp. But you can't get married. Don't look at me. I don't know a thing. <laughs> she thought I was going to adopt her. <laughs> Jesse! You ring a bell? Don't you love it? No. It's such a big house. Jesse! Excuse oh my gosh. You should just break up with her right there. Two martinis, please. Mr. Parker's a double. Getting a migraine. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of judgment in that sound. <laughs> she started yelling in French. I didn't even know she spoke French. Yeah, it's like it's like she went full. She's like she was possessed or something, right? Started speaking in different languages. That's how bad it is. Daddy's getting remarried 101. Is it just the coloring of my screen or the movie, or does her skin? look not just tan but like red maybe it's just my screen i don't know what's wrong with it i like it when i can see a little chest hair i mean she knows what angle she's playing right based on something more than just sex right your father underestimates you i think you did too and for your 411 i adore your father you do not he's exactly the kind of man i always planned on marrying that might be true you are no longer the only girl in nick parker's life Oof. get over it Oof. my dad's money has nothing to do with you wanting to marry him Right? Oh, side of prenup. You are in way over your head. I don't think so. May I have a sip? I don't think you're going to like it. As an actress, I keep on thinking she looks a little bit like Joyce. Maybe just the way she does her hair. The bouquet is a little too robust. But then again, I'm partial to California grapes. <laughs> <laughs> I need to memorize that lie just so I can say it anytime I try wine and act like I know what I'm saying. Oh, you're right. I have one sip too many, I guess. <laughs> I'll drop the bomb on our first thing in the morning. Thanks. Is that gonna work? Hurry. Okay, I will. Time is of the essence. Oh, excuse me, sir. Uh did he hear? <laughs> yes. What say you and I take a little stroke? How did he get there that fast? I mean, he's an elderly gentleman. How did he? She was sprinting, right? Can I go back and see the time? How did he get there that quickly? In Napa, her father, Nick Parker. I hope you're not mad because I love you so much, and I just hoped that one day you could love me as me. I've loved you your whole life. That's such a sweet moment. But why did they split them up, you know? <laughs> Never been so happy in my entire life. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you have to switch us back now, huh? Maybe not. I say you're right. Not to worry, darling. I'll take care of everything. Okay, wow. The mom really rolled with it pretty easily, you know? Seems really chill. I can't handle this. I mean, I haven't seen or heard from Nick Parker. <laughs> okay, okay. No, she was just putting on a brave face. That's funny. I mean, look at me, Martin. <laughs> Ever seen me like this? <laughs> Don't answer that. <laughs> did you speak to your father? That he's really anxious to see you. Yeah, I did not. <laughs> I have not a pants on fire. <laughs> he knows, he knows. <laughs> and I had your leg, I'd wear this little baby. <laughs> 
Good suggestion. Go with Martin's advice. <laughs> Is he going to pull it off like a Marlon Brando look or something with that jacket? Say hello to your father for me. Okay, now we just need to get Meredith out of the picture. The pieces are falling into place. We just got to get rid of uh, Dad's new fiance. They should remake this movie, but instead of Dennis Quaid, it should be Leo DiCaprio playing the dad's role. That would, I would watch that movie for sure. It's everything you ever want in millions more. Then you know I'll be nice. <laughs> <laughs> the whole family is like that, jeez. Oh, Motley Crew. <laughs> she has such a mean smile, man. In the world are you doing here? You can tell she doesn't like dogs. Softy. <laughs> Good. <laughs> The dogs always know. You may call me Aunt Vicky. <laughs> she drunk? Oh my gosh. What is she doing? <laughs> it was a great flight, wasn't it? <laughs> Would you fly next to Burt Kreischer? I tasted vodka before this trip. Are you kidding me? I am in such major trouble here. You gotta babysit your mom. Dang, someone help her walk. Don't let her fall. You have to wait for me. I could have found the room by myself. <laughs> I need to get a little... <laughs> you wearing that the whole time we were on the plane? Fuck out! She's drunk! She's trashed. I had more than one glass of wine in her entire life. Oh my gosh. What? Oh dang! <laughs> she just smiles and waves. She's so drunk. <laughs> don't do this to me. I'm already seeing double. <laughs> you probably don't remember me. Kissy! Right? How good she does. I knew I always liked her. <laughs> Absolutely no idea he and I were on the set. Did she notice the woman even? Completely ashen, like I was the bloody ghost of Christmas past. <laughs> That's a pretty good description. Less idiot, while Nick Parker's wrapped around another woman's arms. Oh, he did. The scenario I had in mind. Yeah, not ideal. Going for a dip, madam. Do you mind? No, no, that's... that's <laughs> someone ought to. Hello. <laughs> Hello. The two of them? How do you do? I'm her butler. Oh, this is perfect. Pleasure's all mine, monsieur. <laughs> Daddy's getting married. Yeah, you need to sit down to hear that news. You're not trying to set me up with your father. Yes, they are. <laughs> yes, yeah, sneak out, other. sneak out. Hold it. <laughs> you two knew about this? What? Oh, no! Do they have plausible deniability? I'm not sure. Oh, dear. Uh, yes. <laughs> have you seen your father? You talking to me? What are you, Robert De Niro? <laughs> Her one redeeming quality is she's seen Taxi Driver. Where was he? Uh, he went that away. So rude, man. What are you staring at? You're just really very pretty. That's all. <laughs> Father, tell him he's late and I'm waiting. Whatever you say, Cruella. Good nickname. Very fitting. Although she's not as cool as Cruella DeVille. This will cure anything you've got. Just don't ask what's in it. Are they gonna meet? Really? How's this gonna go? <laughs> <laughs> She's like so shocked. You never heard someone burp before? You're Elizabeth Jane. Just saw a wedding dress you designed in Vogue and fell completely. Oh no. Oh no, they're gonna get along. This is gonna really complicate things. Hi. He's definitely, definitely looking for her. He's so flustered. Absolutely. Now tell me, dear, how many are we expecting from your side of the family? Oh, he absolutely still loves her, you can tell, just from that shot and the look on his face. I'm I'm not sure at the moment. Goodbye, in-laws. <laughs> He's like uh, Dracula in Hotel Transylvania 3. <laughs> he snaps a photo. <laughs> this, does it count as a meet-cute if you've already been married before? You don't seem as stunned to see me. I mean, I haven't seen or heard from you in 11 years. They really haven't even contacted each other this whole time? I'm not Hallie. Actually... I am. Now the dad needs a double martini. <laughs> they switched places on us, Nick. They pulled like a double Emma. Crazy mixed up teenage years. They're the only girl I know without a mother to fight with. That's very true and extremely self-aware for her age. Mom's amazing, Dad. I don't know how you ever let her go. <laughs> a fair question. My dad still calls me Lizzie. You haven't changed a bit. Finally, they Oh, what an interruption. Meet and... Nikki, why are you all wet? I'm surprised she didn't acknowledge that first. I, I didn't know she was your fiance. Well, am I missing something? Yes. <laughs> Many things. Hi, Mary. How you doing? Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! Honey. <laughs> this is our mother. This is your mother? Yep. We're married to him? 
that's how it works. How sweet. <laughs> Inside, she's so full of rage. She's more than Hulk mode, but can't show it. She's not married yet. Do you have any idea where they're taking us? Not a clue. I mean, am I crazy? But she's way more beautiful than Meredith, right? Right? I can't be alone in thinking that. That's where we're eating. Oh, wow. This is a good plan. Very good plan. How exactly are we paying for this? With your credit card, Dad. Grandfather chipped in a bit. Oh, of course he did. He chipped in a lot. <laughs> what a great grandfather, man. That's the other part of the surprise. We're not joining you. <laughs> We're following the orders of these audacious 11-year-olds. <laughs> that is a good word to describe them, audacious. Our daughters. Our daughters. Why did they divorce, you know? And why did they divorce in such a way they never want to see or hear from each other again? <laughs> I know how a goldfish feels. <laughs> I feel like they feel a little bit more confined and less in love, too, to be fair to goldfish. It started so fast. Well, that part I remember perfectly. <laughs> how did it end, though? Come on. You gotta tell me something. They might be a little bit late uh, serving. We both actually got where we wanted to go. Yeah. Oh, you need just the right person to spend your successful time with. I could keep them both for a whole year, and you could this. keep them. <laughs> we decided never to see each other again. Not we. Oh, she's the one who didn't want to see him again. I hurt you when I threw that. A hairdryer. Sorry. That's a good sign that they can laugh about their fights. We were so young. I didn't know that you wanted me to. Get the show on the road. It can't just be that. There's more. They both feel a lot. Your passport, Ms. James. Have a safe trip home. Thank you. Really? They are going back? Are you sure I'm Annie? Well, of course I'm sure. But it's kind of hard to be 100%. <laughs> That's true. That's very true. Unfunny. You're going to make your mother miss her airplane. Good. Y yes. <laughs> Can you tell? This one's Hallie. Hope you're right, Dad. <laughs> now he's like a guessing himself. <laughs> Whether you like it or not. That's a misdirection. Come on. This is a feel good movie. Yeah. I'm supposed to do for three days. Sit home and knit? Yes. <laughs> what do you mean? Excuse me. <laughs> Sis, that you come with us. Really? Really? Liz. No, honestly, Nick. Really, please. I mean, I kind of want to see Meredith camping. <laughs> <laughs> What's that gonna be like? Her mother invited her. Be nice. I mean, please don't, for the movie's sake and my entertainment's sake. You and Meredith need some time alone before the big day. Wait, really? What? And that's not the plan. Honestly, you'll have much more fun without me. False. I certainly don't have to go. I mean, not a big nature girl. But I believe it. Really get to know the girls. They're half yours. Okay, wow. I'm surprised. Maybe she really secretly didn't want to go camping. She's gonna relax, drink some wine, watch a good show. Big money to see that woman climb a mountain. Me too. I mean, that's what I'm watching this movie for. I can't believe people actually do this for fun. We're stopping. Again? <laughs> what is she doing? Oh, oh she putting that in her bag? Oh, that's genius. I can't move. That's great. Of course, it's a Prada bag. I didn't even know there were Prada. Oh. Brilliant. That is brilliant. Hope the lizard doesn't get hurt. Here you go, Mayor. <laughs> Fine. Hey, I'll put it down. Amazing, amazing. Who have you helped Meredith? Right over a cliff you'll help me. <laughs> Not a bad idea. Yeah, scenic cliffs. Oh. <laughs> How dark could this movie go? What did you call me? Oh no, that triggered her. I think there's something on your head. <laughs> escape, lizard, escape! <laughs> oh dang! Oh, don't do that! Oh, that's so nasty! <laughs> the poor lizard. Oh. What are we having? Trout. Trout. <laughs> Where are you going to attract every mosquito in the state with this stuff? It's sugar and water. <laughs> What's she doing that for? What are you doing? Yeah. I don't want the mountain lions. <laughs> there are no mountain lions up here. It's a gullible is written on the sky. <laughs> Ooh, this is how she gets back. This is how she gets back. Good night. Come on, can't you taste the manipulation in that kiss, bro? I'm not marrying her because she's Annie Oak. Who's Annie Oak? Tell me a bear comes or something. I hope that one large sleeping pill worked. Oh, what was in that sleeping pill? <laughs> or are they just gonna do something while she's sleeping? <laughs> Once again, this could probably happen to me because I am a deep sleeper. Sweet dreams, mommy. <laughs> 
I want to see her when she wakes up. Please tell me they show us that. Okay, here we go. That feels nice. <laughs> Even better than I hoped. <laughs> That's a great scream. Oh man. <laughs> that was good. That was good. <laughs> it's me or them. Take your pick. I mean, come on, come on. You lose this contest. Them. Excuse me? T H E M. Them. Ooh, and he spelled it for you. Get the picture? <laughs> I guess the mom was pretty smart after all, right? She knew this would happen. She threw this. Yes, did she go? Oh, trick. Trick would be more like <laughs> like mother, like daughters. True, true. That's where they learned it from. That's how they're so clever. Pasta sounds good. Pasta it is. It goes well with wine, right? <laughs> where are you going? Good night, ladies. He's going on a date. Years to track down. Why was it wrong? What, their wedding? Wine that we drank at our wedding. Yeah, I knew it. I have every bottle ever made. Come on, this is a Braveheart Thistle moment if I've ever had one in this movie. It's got a little dust in my eye. <laughs> this is the dust, right? You don't always have to be so brave. Oh, but I do, actually. Who's arriving and interrupting them? Anybody home? We'll be right up. Hey, she really shakes her head like that? That was really cool lighting, though. I like the light of the car arriving on her face, and then I like when she backed up, and we have the light on her eyes as so she shakes her head now. Well, they tried their best. They tried their best, you know? Take care of yourself. You too. I really wish we knew more of their history and, like, especially more details about why they divorced to begin with, because I'm kind of surprised. Hey, stranger. What a surprise. They followed him. Well, the Concord gets you here in half the time. <laughs> what are you doing here? I realized we didn't want to lose you two again. Nice. Made the mistake of not coming after you once, Lizzie. Won't repeat that mistake. Being raised here and, and there and picking up where we left off. I mean, why not? What do you expect? To live happily ever after? Why not? To all the above, except you don't have to cry hysterically. Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> well, mission accomplished, right? We actually did it. Time to celebrate. Give us some apple juice and put it in a champagne glass. I mean, that must have been such a fun wedding ceremony, right? Oh, he proposed at the wedding? Get out of here. All right, so that is The Parent Trap. Had a lot of fun with that movie. Just overall kind of a sweet premise. At the beginning when they were kind of setting up the movie and then we see the two twins. First of all, I think Lindsay Lohan did a really, really good job. Just a really sweet performance and also did an excellent job, you know, playing the two sisters and adding enough of differences, not just with the accent, but also kind of in the personality traits between the two of them that they did feel like two distinct characters and also like the scenes that did a pretty good job you know overall like having the eye line and when they're looking at each other you know either having them together in the same shot I don't know exactly how they stitch those together but those look pretty good but even beyond that just like acting across from yourself you know just a good job that's not easy to pull off especially at such a young age so definitely definitely see why Lindsay Lohan kind of became a star early on I'm not sure if she did a ton of Disney movies I don't know much about her career besides Mean Girls like I said at the beginning but she did an excellent job as her first film I mean, she should be proud. She could look back as an adult, I feel like, at this movie and be like, I did good work back in this film. But I kind of like that. I kind of like how they set up the plot, right, with the two of them, like, meeting and kind of being enemies at the very beginning, and then, of course, becoming friends, and then putting it all together that they're long-lost twins. And then just throughout the whole movie, like, the, the strategy, I actually thought it might have been something like a Prince and the Pauper situation, where one of them was from a poor family, one of them was from a rich family, they swapped it out. But no, 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 they're from the same family, and both of their parents, despite the fact that they haven't talked at all since their divorce, are extremely wealthy. So it's like the Prince and the Prince, kind of, right? Not the Prince and the Pauper. But it was it was sweet, you know, that they were so determined to get them back together. And it, it kind of worked as both like a kid's movie and then as a classic kind of rom-com, but a little bit more mature of a rom-com because we're dealing with people who are a little bit older and also have been married, have some life experience, have kids, right? And they just need to kind of remind themselves about what they really care about in life and in a partner. And that maybe, you know, maybe their fights, their bickering, their disagreements back in the day, now that they have a little 
little bit more maturity, a little more perspective on things, not really a big deal. Or maybe those are just obstacles they can overcome for something important like love and family. So just overall, a really sweet message that I like in a film like this. And it just like a sweet family movie, you know what I mean? Just very charming and sweet and feel good. And you could show to very young children and it's just a wholesome, wholesome. I feel like that's the best word to describe this movie. I have to mention great side characters, Chessie and Martin. They did amazing. It was great. They had the two of them get together. You know, they didn't need like too much screen time to kind of have that romance work. It was kind of just instant, but just two really likable side characters in the movie. And then I have to mention the grandfather. He was amazing as well. So some really good likable characters in this film as well that helped you kind of get invested just because they were so, they had such a good heart too. That also helped with the humor too, because Meredith was the complete opposite, her and her parents, right? So that helped, I feel like, with the contrast of the humor. So a well put together movie for all audiences. Had a good time with it. Hope you enjoyed this reaction. As always, the full unedited reaction is up on Patreon. If you care to support the channel, thank you so much for watching. And as always, remember, be active, be mindful, and be a hero.